Welcome back to a very serious playthrough of Mass Effect 3. We're gonna get engrossed in the story. I feel like I've been. <laughs> I feel like I'm already, I already am Fem Chef. Hank. Hank Shepard, reporting for duty. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, so this is our character. We made her on the last um, segment. Go check that out. The slow progression from like really mm -hmm. cute little space chick to whatever this <laughs> is <laughs> to the baddest ass in all of space. Let's start our story. Profile reconstruction complete. Ah, she looks she doesn't look a little good bit bad from far away. Huh. <laughs> See, a couple of you space haven't even had a beer. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even had a space beer. This could happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, you're assuming fa uh, that uh, Hank Shepard will have you. Um, well, she'll have me. I won't have her. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Once you confirm your character, you'll want to be able to change any settings. For three games. <laughs> confirm. Combat difficulty. All right, so we're going to go with... Um, I'm guessing casual. You know what? I'm going normal because it says on casual all enemies including bosses are scaled down. I don't want bosses. All enemies are scaled down, including bosses. Relative to the player's level. So if we don't level up well, then the enemies will be scaled with us. Um, Which, doesn't that just mean that it'll stay challenging? Whereas normal, are, they're scaled up based, based on, the on the player's level. level, but they won't be scaled down. That means that if we... Don't level normal, enough normal going into a battle. Anyways. But if we don't level up enough going into a battle, then like if we don't pay attention to grinding, you don't have to grind in this, do you? No, I don't think you <clears> would be. <throat> I think if you went hard, you would have to make sure you were leveling up. I think this just means that enemies are going to be slightly leveled slightly oh. higher than what you are. We'll go normal then. Yeah. No uh, grinding. I'm gonna go for auto level up. You guys think that the squad should be leveled up automatically, right? And then we'll choose how Shepard is uh, leveled up. Like, I don't care about my squad. Subtitles, yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> somebody said off, but I don't know what your argument for that is. Remember, this is us playing it. We're not, we don't wanna sit in a menu all day going through five members of our squad. Oh. Why all off? You can change this at any time, remember, guys. Auto, you don't want to micromind it. I, I agree with Ada Wolf. So I'm going to... No, I'm not manually... Let, why? What's your argument for it? Anyways, while they make their argument, target assist, high. Yeah, I, I just want to... I'm going high. Uh, squad power usage. If they're active, they're going to like run mean? in and defeat the enemy with me. If they are defense only, they won't get in my way. Your squad only goes up to two other people. But why do I... What did K-Shade say? Did it go by? I'd set squad powers to defense only. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, we're going defense only, because I like to stop and take, like, while a battle's raging and talk a little bit every so often. If my mm -hmm. squad goes and wipes them all out, that's not fun mm -hmm. while I'm but talking. But you're not going to use the tactics hub? I ain't using it. Uh, no, I don't... No, no. Um, and uh, these can these can be changed at any time, so maybe later we'll change it. But for now, this is how I'm going. Auto save, yes. Here we go. Oh, here's the story. Let's go. What was that? Oh, that was just loading. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Say she lost her Who's eyebrows in the battle of killed on Russian roulette. <laughs> she gets the job. Done, oh my god. No matter what the cost. That's you. <laughs> yes. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Huh? <laughs> That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Yeah, I recognize him too. Yeah. I'll make the call. <laughs> Looking out upon the earth. 2148. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. I was reading fast. I did read yeah. the last part. What was the last little bit, guys? 
Read it in duck voice. So we were just normal humans until suddenly we discovered a bunch of... Whoa, here we go. The Arcturus Prime is in range. Sequence. Oh, they're talking. Oh, you saw Miranda? And that was Joker talking to Oh. Calculating transit mass and destination. <laughs> oh. The relay is hot. Yes. Hank Shepard is badass. All station secure for transit. <laughs> and man, her lips were huge was the last sentence that we missed. The greatest discovery of mankind, the rest of the galaxy calls it Mass Effect. Mass Effect is what they discovered. <laughs> yes! Yes! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was afraid we wouldn't see our face that much in the game. Oh, it's gonna come in at the best times. <laughs> yes, oh. it will! <laughs> uh. Hitting the relay in 3, 2, 1. So they basically discovered wormholes. Yeah, Technology basically. to make wormholes. Yeah. Oh my god, Stephen King. That's one Thrusters, hell of a space guy. Check, gun. navigation. <laughs> check, internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500K. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 1500 is good. Yeah. The captain will be pleased. Jesus. He's an alien. I hate that guy. <laughs> oh, he's Minus racist. I just gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. He's a specter. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I'm not timed on these, am I? No. Like, we can discuss this, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. I hope so. I hope it's not, like, heavy rain. No, I, I'm pretty um, sure it's not. So just to talk there about that, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> Snarf, not timed. Okay. Um, so they were saying uh, specters. That guy was a specter. Yeah, yeah. People in the chat have been calling Shadow Chat today specter chat. Oh. Uh, okay, so, but only an idiot believes the official story. Cut the chatter. Yeah, <laughs> we don't give a shit. Or do we? I don't know. You're overreacting. I agree. Why would I care? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Cut the chatter! Yeah. That's enough. Your soldiers <laughs> act like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. Your soldiers! That's for your pal. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to a Is this the face of someone who cares? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet you in the calm room for a debriefing. Uh, you get that, Commander? I heard you made him mad. <laughs> is he upset? You made him mad! Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Looking good. I am so proud of this character. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest character ever. <laughs> All right. Um, want to talk to Joker? The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the oh. comm room, Commander. Well, that's nice to know. I don't have to the talk to people a million times, room, like in RPGs. Yeah. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting. There commander. is a lot of dialogue available. In you this probably stuff. don't want to keep the yeah, captain waiting. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Commander. I'm just kind of sick of like having to make sure that I talk to somebody talk a million to everybody. times. All right, here oh, we go. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Quick, talk to everyone. What? But she does have a shapely space body. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, how could you? You'd have to consider it. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. What? Talking about this back getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. Oh. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Galaxy map. Why would I open the galaxy map? I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. 
That's crazy. I'm already paranoid Captain's about in it. Charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. I've heard about spectre spectres. spectres. They're above the law. So they're on a distant world that we've encountered? Um... <clears throat> I don't want to go. I don't know how much I shouldn't know. I, yeah. I have only I've heard synopses. I feel like this came off the back of the box, but I don't want to say anything. So we'll we'll find out more. Okay. But they're funding this whole mission. So. Yes. I'm gonna talk to this guy. They got lots of money. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? He wants to see me. Read my lips. He wants to see me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Mm. That's always the asshole remark. Just do your job. What, the bottom one? Oh, yeah, interesting. Bottom right. So if you go left, you get more. If you Info's stay right, on a need-to-know uh, basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. You came to talk to me, Commander. <laughs> Something I can do for you, Commander? You were arguing. I overheard you before. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Just do left, your... Oh, wait. Left middle is always more information. Yeah. Okay. Good to you know. You think the Alliance Thanks, Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Investigate. Let's see what we want to know. Stealth systems, Turian Spectre. What's a Turian Spectre? You don't trust Nihilus. That's the guy. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. Mm. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the first Turians contact was... with the aliens. Then, mm. so this is recent history that we got involved with aliens. Mm -hmm. uh, that was long ago. That was thirty years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. Who is Nihilus? No, the alien. I guess not. Oh, okay. It he still makes me nervous okay. to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Oh, can Spectres be different races? Because they called him a Spectre, and then they mentioned his race as being Yeah, Italian. yeah, so it sounds like anybody can be a Spectre. It can be assigned to, like, this is, it's like a secret service then. Um, Turian Spectre, we already went that route, right? Yeah. Like that's just going to repeat it. Yeah. So, oh, that's kind of annoying that they don't gray it out, because now I'm not going to yeah. know what I've already looked into. I better make sure that I'm methodical then and start top to down. What stealth do you know about the stealth <coughs> I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. Are we going to have to battle? Maybe obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Three Spectre races currently not. Oh. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. More. What do you know about Tell the stealth me more. systems? Impress X. I just know skip. it masked the Good. Normandy. Plus, Thank there's you. Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Stealth systems, captain. The captain's the only one you have done, I think. Okay. Do you have a problem with the captain? <clears throat> no, ma'am. But I <laughs> no, can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. Something's if he up. melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Jeez, you I totally don't do that. send a soldier <laughs> like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Mm. So does, that's it. So the good thing is, it looks like dialogue trees don't open up new options after you get info, do they? Because I mean, it didn't seem like it. Yeah. I think once it lets you ask an extra question. Okay. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. <laughs> I, 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 like, grease him for all this info, and then I tell him to just do his job. <laughs> Ooh, the doctor. Ooh. Are you hot? Okay. 
What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I Just do your hope job. You're kidding, Corporal. You're gonna die. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. <laughs> I know how things work, Jesus. Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows Did the you value of restraint, die, too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not be one with a Spectre soon. on board. All right. Something will be killing him soon. <laughs> uh, I think that doctor is actually older than your mother. <laughs> um, it's just another mission. You'll do fine. You'll do fine. <laughs> oh, but that'll make us good. <laughs> <laughs> you always want to be a dick. I just wanted to say you'll do fine just because I know he's going to die. <laughs> Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Do your job! Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We I'm have a job the hero. to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Spectre Eden Prime Nihilus. What can what do you, you know tell about me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find us them being humans. too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. He sounds badass. Oh, I like this Nihilus. Yeah. Did you go top down? We already did Nihilus. We talked about oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. Spectres. Now. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Hmm. Spectres don't have any official power, though. <clears throat> Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. They could kill you and they're protected at can do any about cost. It. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. That's dangerous. Galactic How do you integrity. control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. Mm, nothing, I'm just... At that point, <laughs> Citadel Security Services would take over. Badass Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. <laughs> you are you way too gung ho. Romantic <laughs> legends with reality, Commander. Uh, Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. Peaceful. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the... I don't the care. I don't want to know. <laughs> but when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for okay, me. Okay, so we joined the military. That's why I joined the Alliance. And Even paradise it. gets boring after a while. Investigate. Why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. No real Eden danger Prime, there, he says. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a spectrum. He can't wait for the board. real mission That's why I'm to so wound right. up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Goodbye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye. Thank goodness for subtitles. I'll be able to skip a lot of nonsensical crap. Yeah. yeah. Read ahead, skim, and paraphrase. Uh. Let's get a little uh, eyepiece. Yeah. Oh shit! The Borg have already taken over here. <laughs> <laughs> Borg, Becky, Star Wars. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Is this our captain? Uh, that's Nihilus. Oh, that's Nihilus, yeah. Talk to him. I want, yeah. him, I want him to be our buddy. Commander yeah. Shepard. Me too. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? <laughs> I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Hmm. I wouldn't. So what? Would <laughs> I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that... yeah, is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. 
the galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is, is far more than a simple shakedown uh, run. What's he been in? Who is the captain's voice? I can't place it. All right. Okay. I knew it. it he just uh, admitted that David it's more. David Keith. Who's David Keith? Keith David. Keith oh, David. Hey, he's in. Uh, Goliath from Gargoyles. Uh. Modern Warfare, he has a lot of voices. Ah, uh, he's in... He is not Morpheus from The Matrix. <laughs> is that? No, that's not, no. What? Homeland. Black guy from Requiem for a Dream. Homeland? He's in Homeland? Oh, he's the black guy from Homeland? I think he's Homeland? that guy. He's that guy? I think yeah, he's that guy. Yeah, that sound like him, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's obvious, it's not just I a shake I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup <laughs> of Eden Prime. Sure. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What are we picking up? You should have told me. Why the secrecy? All right, the music has changed. We'll unravel this mystery through dialogue trees after this.